I live in a small resort town in Idaho called McCall. Each winter, thousands of skiers and snowboarders flock to the mountain to float over the abundant powder and take in the views of the landscape from the top of the ski hill. Many likely do not know the wonders of the winter ecology and the place they spend so much time. For example, when you ride a chairlift, starting at the base of the ski hill, you might notice the trees don't hold a lot of snow. But slowly, as you make your way up the mountain, you will notice that the landscape changes. The trees begin thinning out, hold more snow, and look frozen in place due to the rime, which forms when water vapor that measures below freezing solidifies on the windward side of an object. It's often also significantly colder, and the winds are felt the strongest up top. There's much more going on than meets the eye while we're skiing. The trees we fly through. Have you ever wondered how they don't freeze and die when temperatures are below zero? They have sugars in their cells that keep the water in them from freezing solid. Have you wondered why the tree walls that we try so hard to avoid exist? Since the trees stay above a freezing temperature, they are warmer than the surrounding snow and give off heat absorbed from the sun, which melts the snow around the trunks. Have you wondered how animals survive the harsh winter? On those really cold days, the top of the snowpack can be in the negatives, but the further down the snow you go, the warmer it gets. This is where the small mammal creatures like to hang out, in the subnivian, the world of tunnels dug in the snow closest to the ground. Next time you're out enjoying the mountain, take a moment to reflect on the wonders of winter and what it takes for the trees and wildlife to survive.